They're on their way to the 100th mark already. That's a special feeling. Oh, yes. Wow. Amazing job. Absolutely going to make this country proud. And now that's how you win the campaign. Marshall dominated Man Kuang in the last Southeast Asian Games. Can he do it again? Oh, huge left. And oh, another big. one. And he hurt Kuang. And he's going for and the kill. They give a standing eight count. Nagsimula po ako magboxing no uh, seven years old pa lang po ako. Yung tatay ko po yung uh, nagturo sa akin. Siya po yung uh, naging uh, una kong trainer. Not the Filipinos. Hoping for another golden performance here from Wong. I came from a family of athletes, so my parents were both athletes. Tapos yung lola ko yung naging parang driver. How I started sports. Carlos Yulo with his fist pumped in the air as the crowd absolutely loved every bit of that. Seven po ako nag-start ng gymnastics. Tinala po ako ng lolo ko uh, sa Rizal Memorial. Parang malaking playground po siya sa akin. Mga panahon na po yan. My grandmother stumbled upon an ad for like a sports clinic sa May Taft Avenue where the Philippine Sports Commission is located. Nakita niya yung parang, ano, parang kids for Wushu, parang for the summer. And that's how I started at 8 years old. May mga um, uh, tinatawag dati sa amin no, na Golpe Golpe de Barangay. Every month, uh, may laro ko yun, iba-ibang barangay. At uh, doon po ako lumalaban hanggang uh, na-scout na po ako. Nakapunta po ako sa Team Sambuanga. Let's not forget about Jasmine Alcaldi, one of the clutch Filipino swimmers. Um, so well, I started learning swimming because I drowned initially. Pero what my mom has been telling me is that ever since now I was little, I really loved the water. Kaya ako nag-drown kasi I saw a swimming pool and the house come in and I ako and then I just ran and just jumped into the pool. And it's still very close right now. The cross siblings, first two, and then Jasmine Alcaldi keeping pace. I guess you need to go until I just kind of got the water, and I drowned. Ever since then, I was enrolled in two swimming lessons, and then from then, I didn't stop swimming. May na invite sa akin, kay Bigan. Uy, hindi dyan, di ba marunong nung kamaganong mag... Uh, try mo nga to, kung bagay sa'yo. Oh, what a power shot. Yubir Marshall, right off the bat. And he goes down again. This is going to be it. Wu Yin is not able to take the power of Yubir Marshall. Pinagpatuloy ko yun hanggang 15 years old. Test out ako, napunta ako sa national team. Nakalaro po ako ng World Championship sa unang abroad ko at uh, sa tulong ng Panginoon at sa pagsisikap ko, uh, nakuha ko yung kauna-unang uh, gold medal sa World Junior Boxing Championship. Very nice routine from Carlos Edriel Yulo of the Philippines. Pero nag-start po ako ng gymnastics na tumating po si Coach. Yung tunay na gymnastics, like, Ah, ganito pala yung gymnastics. Sobrang hirap. And that was a very strong performance by Carlos Yulo. You can see that he's very satisfied with that performance. Siguro po, ano, competitive lang po. Ako, sobra. Iniisip ko po kasi yung sarili ko lang kapag nagko-compete na po. So, parang <laughs> may sarili po akong mundo kapag competition. Kapag sobrang hirap ng pinagdaanan mo sa training. Like, pwede ka na magsaya sa competition eh. First three years ng career ko as a national athlete, I was always the last place or the second to the last place. Pero that didn't really stop me from continuing to do what I love. Kasi that's what I really love. Nag-start ako, pumasok sa Sipatak Raw. I mean, I was in grade 5. Isa po talaga akong 
mahirap sa amin, sa amin lugar. Nagano ako, nagdiskart eh talaga ako sa buhay ko. Nagbibinta ako ng pandesal, gulay, ice strap, nagparking boy pa ako, nagconstruction worker pa ako. Talagang sariling sikap lang kung gusto mo mag mag-excel sa sport na to globally. Sariling sikap talaga. I just tried. I tried to do crowdfunding um, through makeachap.com. Umpisa pa lang, white dot pa lang ako noon yung 2014. And naniwala na yung mga tao. Nagpigay sila ng pondo. Umabot ako sa World Championship. And um, nung mismo competition na na yun, IBGC April Championship 2014. Pagpasok ko pa lang doon sa competition arena, feeling ko parang wow, victory na to kasi ano yun, nandito ako, umabot ako dito, so that in itself was a victory. Yung kahirapan ay hindi at lang para makamit mo ang iyong mga pangarap. Basta sipag at saga ka lang, uh, tiwala lang, tiwala ka lang doon. No? Napasok tayo doon sa sports, biglang nag-next level at biglang yung sipak takaraw, yung sports na yan. Parang binago yung ano ko, lifestyle ko talaga, binago yung takbo ng buhay ko. Isang masipag ka lang talaga. Yung sports na yan, mga amigo, hindi lang laro-laro talaga yan. Makakatulong yan sa iyo. Blessing galing sa Diyos na uh, pinagdaanan ko rin lahat ng iyo. Dahil it also brings more value sa bawat panalo, bawat talo. Kasi alam mo na, uh, pag, pag pinaghirapan, mas masaya pagka, <laughs> pagka nalagpasan. hindi siya akin lang. Bawat panalo, alam ko na shared siya kasi ang daming nag-contribute eh para malagay ako dun sa posisyon na yun. Nasundan po ng um, Asian Youth um, Gold Medalist, three times SEA Games, nag-silver din ako ulit sa World Championship at ito ngayon nag-qualify ako sa Olympics. When I was young, that already was my biggest dream, the Olympics. But because for karate to be in the Olympics now, parang, to me, I want to look at it like the stars are aligning for me. It's the perfect timing because I graduated and the SEA Games was in the Philippines, so sakto rin po yun. And then sakto, after that, is the Olympics na Olympics. So it's debuting here sa Tokyo po, 2021. It's just so special to me because I don't know why I was talking about the Olympics when I was young kasi wala naman nga pong karate the Olympics. To me, I want to look at it like the stars are aligning for me. It's the perfect timing. Hindi naman po sa like, kaya ko yan eh. Hindi po sa ganun. Confident na po na magagawa ko siya. Like, may tiwala po sa sarili na sobrang positive po. Kahit sino magsabi na hindi ka mananat. Like, parang sa love dog ko po na, like, manood ka. <laughs> parang ganun mo. And winner of the gold medal, Yulo Carlos Enrio of the Philippines! That's why I'm still swimming, because I feel like hindi pa tapos yung calling ko, I guess. Jasmine Alcaldi of the Philippines. Great, great swim. I feel like I want to be able to say I gave it my best, I gave it my all, na I made the country proud. Gusto po mapalawak po yung sports sa Pinas po. Like, gusto po lahat ng pagbataan and masama po sila. Maging isang atleta po. Ang ambition ko talaga, yung dream ko talaga yung pag-aarit po. Aside sa mga medal na yun nga, pupukuha ng medal ang medal. Yung mga bata, parang nanaginip ako ma'am na pumupunta ako sa mga ibang, ibang lugar, naturoan ko sila, binibigyan ko sila ng mga gamit, na panglaro. Kapag Philippines ang rare lang po na makakita ka sa international, like Japan, China, palaging nandun po. Uh, parang pag Philippines, magugulat kayo kung oh, may Philippines ba. I'm still trying to learn as much as I can, even if I've won some competitions. Because every day we learn and every day we evolve as humans. For me to have the winning spirit of a Filipino athlete, it's really in my heart to just bring pride to my country. The biggest dream ko po ay makapuwa ng gold medal sa Olympics. And that's all she wrote. A shot to the body. Give me a shot. 
Ito po ay uh, pangarap ng uh, tatay ko simula nung pagkabata pa lang ako na sana isa sa mga anak niya o sa pamangkin niya na makakuha ng gold medal sa Olympics. Gusto ko po uh, irigalo sa tatay ko na pa ito yung uh, pinangarap mo simula pa lang nung dati na nagsisimula pa lang ako. Ito na yun, yung gold medal sa Olympics. Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give all our athletes a round of applause.